Hello, daycare providers. How are you doing? I just wanted to hop on real quick and fast um, to tell you to let's talk daycare. Yes, let's talk daycare. But um, today on Let's Talk Daycare, it's a little bit um, personal um, for um, for us daycare providers, women and men, really. I did not want this month to go by. I'm doing so much and I did not want this month to go by to talk to you about checking on your girls, checking on your tatas, checking on your breasts for breast cancer awareness. I know when I started this page years ago, I was hearing about so many daycare providers who had died of breast cancer and it had really touched my heart um, to start this page because I went through a lot with my husband. He had a stroke, a heart attack, and a brain bleed. And I really wanted to reach out to daycare providers to let them know that they have to take care of their self. You have to take care of yourself. It's no way getting around this. You have to take care of yourself. And when he had got sick, I really wasn't taking care of myself the best. But I said to myself, well, look, this is how it is. And if you don't take care of yourself, then how can you be any good for anybody else? And then I was hearing about so many daycare providers who had died. I had heard about a close friend of mine. Um, she was a daycare provider, older lady. And she died with a massive heart attack in her backyard. And I know it had to do with a lot of stress because she was under a lot of stress. And I know it had to do with a lot of stress. And I, I still know it had to do with not taking care of ourselves, especially when we have an in-home daycare. We are stuck there. We are, we are there. We are in there. It's just like, we just, we're there. Um, it's hard for us to take care of our, um, our mammograms, our pap smears, our dental. It's hard to take care of all that because we are so into our job and we so scared that if we take a few days off, then, then the parents is going to go look for somewhere else for daycare. Well, if they look for somewhere else for daycare, then guess what? They have to look for somewhere else for daycare because you have to take care of yourself. And if you do not take care of yourself, how in the world can you take care of these children? How in the world can you take care of these children? Is You just can't. But I feel you. I get you. I understand where you are coming from. Because 20-something years ago, that was me. 20-something years ago, I did not want to close. 20-something years ago, I was putting myself on a back burner. I was putting my health on a back burner because I was chasing the almighty dollar. I was chasing the almighty dollar, and my husband had his daycare. I had my daycare. We was working this thing just crazy and really wasn't taking time out for ourselves. And what happens when you don't take time out for yourself? you get sick. And that's what happened. He got sick. And I, I do believe it's from just the pressure of life, just stress and just not taking care of yourself. So I got on this mission to make sure that I take care of myself so I can make sure I'm taking care of him the proper way, making sure I can breathe and making sure I get it out to other daycare providers. I was hearing that daycare providers were a lot of daycare Providers were having Bell Palsy. A lot of them was having um, uh, uh, dying of breast cancer or having breast cancer. And it was just really hard for them to get their treatments and, you know, to get the care that they needed because they was running the in-home daycare. And it wasn't like a job where you can get so many days off. You are stuck. This is your income. But you have to let the parents know Look, have alternate care because I have to take care of myself. Once or twice a month, I have to go to the doctors. You know, I have to make sure I check on myself. 
because if I don't check on myself, then, you know, I'm not here. The daycare is done and you will find somebody else. You will find somebody else to take care of your child. So what you have to do, you have to make sure you are doing your self breast exams. You are going for your yearly uh, ma uh, mammogram. And um, I know we was thrown off because of pandemic, um, but right when this pandemic got together, right when it got clear, I ran to my, to my, um, breast doctor to make sure that the girls was taken care of because breast cancer run in our family. My mother, God bless her heart. She have breast cancer. Um, she had it and then it ended up coming back. Um, so we dealing with a lot with that, but God is amazing she's doing good and she only had to take a pill just to um because it, it was contained in one spot so they just watch it but if she didn't go take care of herself she wouldn't know so she hear me all the time say you got to make sure you take care of yourself you got to make sure you take care of yourself so now she is on that regiment where i gotta get my mammogram i gotta get my mammogram i gotta get my mammogram it was so much on her heart that she had to get a mammogram because she missed it a year ago that this was on her heart and thank God it was because that's how they found the little, the real little, little, little spot and it was contained. So thank God for that. So I definitely have to take care of myself because breast crank cancer run in our family. So I definitely have to make sure I take care of myself. Don't put your yourself off on the back burner because you have an in-home daycare. Don't do that. Don't put yourself on the back burner. Make sure that um, your clients have alternate care. Alternate care, alternate, um, care means that they have someone else that can watch their child just in case of emergency that they have someone else who can watch your child just in case if you don't have an assistant, you could take that day off to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. I get a couple of calling well um, days in the year to take care of my mammogram, my pap smear, my dental, um, my, my colonoscopy, whatever I need to do, I make sure I mark it in the calendar, the beginning of the year. So they will know my vacations. I give that to them in Apple enough of time to make sure if we don't take care of ourselves as daycare providers, we won't be around. We will not be around. So we must definitely have to take care of ourselves. It's breast cancer awareness month. You must make sure that you are doing everything you are supposed to be doing to check in on your breasts, doing your breast exams. And the best way you could do your breast exams are in the shower or just laying down flat on a bed and just touching your breasts in a circular emotion. Motions. Just touching them and making sure you are not feeling any lump or any knot. Also, it's good to go up to your armpit and make sure you don't feel anything in that area. We matter. We matter as daycare providers. If we are not taking care of ourselves, how in the world can we take care of these beautiful, beautiful angels that we have in our business in our program. So first of all, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification button, and every time I upload a video, you will know. This form is for daycare providers, center-based, and informals, and even, you know, grandparents or, you know, anyone who is taking care of children. So I really opened it up to that. So please subscribe. Please leave a comment so I know that you are getting something out of this. Leave a comment. Leave a comment and let me know how you are doing in your daycare about taking care of your personal businesses, such as your mammograms, your pap smears, um, your dental, whatever you have to do, um, your eyes, Eyes is a must because we can't see the children if our eyes go bad. So all that should be lined up. 
you should definitely um, let your parents know the dates. Give them enough of time, but let them know that you have to take care of yourself. So thank you again, and welcome to Let's Talk Daycare. This is our forum, so share it. I know you all got daycare friends or family who is also a daycare provider. Share it with them. Don't keep the good news to yourself. This forum is about daycare providers taking care of their self. Daycare providers making sure that they do the best that they can do to run a successful home daycare so you can keep on going. I made many mistakes. I had no one out there to teach me the ropes or to talk to or to help me except a couple of my um, friends. We were in it together. So we can all do this together and reach to the top. I see you guys all at the top. Keep on moving. But first of all, take care of your health and your wellness. Take care. Bye-bye.